Alright guys, welcome to another math tutorial video. Now this is going to be a short one. This is just talking about the idea of complementary and supplementary angles. Now complementary and supplementary angles are a pretty key uh, point about angles in geometry and what they do. Now we have two different situations. I'm going to talk first about complementary. Now complementary, while being... Uh, almost a little bit more, not to say common, but more well known. My students always seem to know it better than supplementary, though I use supplementary so much more. Now, complementary angles, uh, the definition of it is two angles that combine to form 90 degrees. So if we had this 90 degree angle, it, complementary is essentially saying we have these two angles. Let's say this is a 30 and this is a 60, right? These two angles together make 90 degrees, 30 plus 60, right? So those two angles are complementary. Now, it's not always going to be as simple as one being 30 and one being 60. Occasionally, you may have some variables involved. It might be like 3x and 6x. Then you got to figure out what x is, right? Now, that's not too bad. You know these two angles combine to form 90 degrees together, that's what they form. So it seems to me whenever we talk about combining, we're going to be doing an addition problem, right? So 3x added to our other complementary angle, 6x, equals 90 degrees. Now, combining our like terms, we are going to end up with 9x equals 90. Divide by that 9, and then we get x equals 10. Now, of course, that was a very simple problem. I mean, that was practically as simple as the 60 and the 30 just on their own, right? But it does get harder. You, you, you get to having equations in place of these. But as long as you know this relationship that two complementary angles add to form 90 degrees, as long as you have that idea down, you're set with complementary angles. There's not a whole lot more to it, at least at this basic level. So let's move on to supplementary. Now, supplementary is my own personal favorite of the two. I just like it more for some reason. Supplementary angles are much like complementary angles. Although instead of combining to form a 90 degree angle or a right angle, supplementary angles combine to form a 180 degree angle. Uh, essentially, you can kind of think of it as two ways. You can think of it as a semicircle, 180 degrees, or you can think of it as a straight line, right? I know that line kind of curved off at the end, I'm sorry. But the way I always explain supplementary angles to my students is that if, let's say we have two angles in here, angle one and angle two. I say if you can start with your first angle and then turn into your second angle right here and then end on the same line you began with, because like, see, we, in, we began on this line went through angle one, angle two, and ended on that same line, then those two are supplementary. I don't know why I was going to write it again. I have it written right there. They're supplementary. Now, this works a couple of different ways. I mean, they don't have to be this line. Heck, we could have a angle three and an angle four. And we could say, well, angle four starts here, goes up here, turns into angle one, and comes back down on this same line that angle four started on. So we have those supplementary lines as well. In an intersection of lines like this, you have a lot of different supplementary angles. So yeah, if you prefer thinking of a supplementary angle or a set of supplementary angles or a 180 degree angle as a straight line, then that works fine or that semicircle works as well. As I stated before, supplementary angles means two or more angles that combine to form 180 degrees. Just as we had with the complementary angles, where often we're going to have them represented as variables or equations as opposed to me just writing 110 and 70, uh, we occasionally will have to solve for those as well. As long as you know, uh, let's say angle 1, um, and angle two. Let's say angle one and angle two are supplementary angles. As long as you know those two angles combine to form 180 degrees, then you're good. You'll be able to solve most supplementary angle problems. So this is just a basis of what complementary and supplementary angles are. 
that's uh, essentially what I wanted to talk about in this video, just defining those for anyone that was curious. We'll do some examples of su some complementary and supplementary problems in a later video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to le uh, leave them below. I will answer to the best of my ability, or you can leave them at my blog, mrmathclass.blogspot.com. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.